They ain't never call you Sometimes I wish you know when I told to Sometimes it likes to be confusing Call your friends and ask how they doing Cooling Lately I have been recooling Everybody got a life and they own problems This life is too short for grudges bro Just call them, you hit me The narrative on Sam Howe is changing, and it's changing fast. Let's talk about it. After 20 years, you know we back on. Um, no more Snyder, more McClure. More forward with the passion, you know we score. That X feel back, let no way it is not boring. John Allen lead the troops, yeah, you know we storming. Burgundy and gold in my veins, yeah, I bleed that. St. Joe saw the ball, grab a pig, yeah, I need that. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We have the Washington Commanders video, and in today's video, I'm coming on here with the video where we're going to be talking about Sam Howe and how the narrative on him is changing already around the NFL. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload new content like this to the channel. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. We're so close to 6K, and you already know we doing giveaways, man. I'm, I got a Terry McClellan giveaway well, you know, coming up soon, man. I'm going to make the video for that. But long story short, only way to be entered, all you got to do is subscribe. All you gotta do is be a subscriber of the channel and you'll be entered. It's totally free. So you got a free chance to win a Terry jersey by subscribing to a free channel. Come on, bro. Let's get to it, though. All right. So the narrative on Sam Howe is changing and it's changing fast. The people viewed Sam Howe as this backup quarterback, this guy that was a fifth round pick and didn't really amount to much, but after we have seen Sam Howe now for three games, including the last uh, week of the regular season last year, people are starting to finally realize what Washington fans were so hyped up about this offseason. People are now starting to see why Ron Rivera was so comfortable with going with Sam Howe and not pressing to go get a veteran quarterback that actually was going to be competition to Sam Howe. Because obviously, they went out and they got Jacoby Brissett, but we all knew. If you had a brain, you knew Jacoby Brissett wasn't going to be starting for this team. They're finally starting to see why he was so comfortable. And then also, another thing, Ron Rivera, he, must, he had to try this. Because he have tried to bring in veteran quarterbacks since he has came here, and it has not worked. Okay, after trying to roll with Dwayne Haskins and that didn't work, he's been trying to bring in a veteran guy each and every year and it hasn't worked. So now he's trying a young guy again. And this time it seems like it's paying off, you know, right, at least to the start. Um, bringing in Eric Bienemy was obviously a game changer. Um, and the selling of the team was also another game changer. But Sam Howe is changing the narrative on him already. Like, uh, we've been beating the drum. We've been telling people every single day that Sam Howe is not this ordinary fifth round pick. He's a guy that could have potentially been a first round, no later than a second round pick if he would have came out the draft a year early. People were looking at us like we're crazy when we say that. People are predicting Washington to win four games max. You got the clown Adam Rank still predicting, uh, predicting Washington to be trash like he does every year. Now he's retracting his statements is what I'm hearing. And a lot of other people are starting to change their their pain on Sam Howe and he went from this this guy that they weren't too sure about to a guy that oh my god can make every single throw can can is this athletic guy uh, this guy that has this poise in the pocket and he looks the part we've been trying to tell y'all that ever since he got drafted here in Washington we've been saying that since day one and that's why I keep making these videos about mainstream media not really doing their homework or doing their research on guys like Sam Howe if if you paid attention to Sam Howe at North Carolina this would not be a surprise you wonder why his head coach there at UNC spoke so highly of because he can do it. This guy was a Heisman um, on the Heisman watch list at the beginning of his last year in, in Chapel Hill. 
So again, the success that he is potentially going to have with this team should not be no surprise. This guy can do it. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have a flaw in his game as far as, you know, athletic and, 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 and God-given talent. Now, is he perfect? No, he's not. He has a lot of things to work on, but he's a second-year quarterback. What quarterback in their second year is perfect, okay? That, that's just not realistic. So, obviously, he's going to have things that, that he can work on, but for, for what Washington's been missing for the past, you know, almost decade, because the last time we have had a sniff of a franchise quarterback was Kirk Cousins, and we haven't had that since he's left, and that's been nearly a decade ago, Washington has potentially found that guy. You know what I'm saying? Again, like I said, Sam Howe can make every throw. He can, he can, he can obviously... He uses the athletic ability. That's something that was slept on coming out of UNC into his last year. And he's a he's a like he's a he's a built guy, okay? Like a lot of people think just because he's small and he's short, he's not a built guy. He can take hits, he can initiate contact. Just look at the preseason games. He's been running and he's been taking contact. Do I want him doing that? No, because he's my quarterback and I need him to be safe. But he can he can with he can withstand the NFL game. Um I I seen a, a media guy say, Oh, his release is so slow and all that. How many quarterbacks have this 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 fast Aaron Rodgers like release not too many people have a release like Aaron Rodgers like a Josh Allen you know what I'm saying obviously his delivery is going to be different but just because it's slower than than other people it doesn't mean that it can't um it can't be successful he also then went on to say he doesn't know if he can get out the pocket and make them sidearm you know Patrick Mahomes like throws Matthew Stafford like throws he did that in in the preseason so far I believe it was either in the Browns game or the Ravens game or it might have been both where he did a sidearm angle kind of throw he shows the poise in the pocket. He does never, he does not ever let a play get uh, get down on him. When he gets sacked, when it, uh, when he uh, um, you know makes a bad play, incomplete pass, and after a ball, he comes right back and he fires a strike. Case in point, it was third and fifteen, cold turnout. But the previous play was a negative play for Washington, and it was third and fifteen. In in recent years. Washington would just probably run a draw or some set up the punter, set up trust way to just punt it away and try to flip field position. Now with Sam Howe, third and 15, I don't feel like we can't pick up the first down. And a lot of that is not only due to Sam Howe, but that is also due to one Eric Minimi. But I, and again, like I said, third and 15, I still think we have a chance to convert this thing, okay? Unlike in years past, where I'm like, all right, we're third and 15, we're, we're probably just getting ready to punt. You know, um, he, he he threw it. He had a sack um, in the first Browns game, and he came back and he looked. He 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 bounced right back the second drive, okay, um, or the next drive rather. The thing is about him that Eric Manemi loves the most, as he mentioned, and this one thing that I've seen that I love the most watching him is that he auto corrects himself and he is a self. Uh, he he's, he takes accountability. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of these young quarterbacks don't like taking accountability. And that's one thing that Sam Howe does not have a problem doing. And as a quarterback, even when it's not your fault, it's your fault. And you have to take that, you have to take that blame. And you have to know that this isn't personal. This is just how I how I'm supposed to be as a quarterback. Okay? And he he took full blame for these sacks. You know, is he holding on the ball a little too long now? Yeah, but as he gets more comfortable, you know, as he gets more um more action, more game time, he's going to get the ball out quicker. But also another thing as to why he could potentially be holding the ball on longer than usual is because he's afforded this time. Remember, we overreacted, and I'll include myself in that. We overreacted to this offensive line in week one after the game versus the Browns um, preseason. We were like, oh, it's bad, it's bad. And no, it's still not perfect, but lately they've been much better affording Sam Howe pretty much, pretty, plenty of time. Um, and then when you look at the sacks that they have been giving up, it's not really been too many where it was like, oh, my God, Sam couldn't couldn't do nothing in that play. Sam could have got away from a couple of those sacks. Sam could have threw the ball away. Sam could have went to his first read to flats out in the backfield to Brian Robinson, you know. So, again, it's things that he can work on, but for the overall message of this video, he's really changing the narrative. Like you hear Rich Eisen, you hear Pat McAfee, you hear guys like Adam Rank, you hear Marcus Spears, you hear uh, all these um, media personalities, Kyle Brent, talking highly of Sam Howe. Shout out to Kyle Brent. Kyle Brent's like, hey man, I'm on the Sam wagon. 
know what I'm saying? Instead of bandwagon and sandwagon, you know, he, he they, they're they're starting to see. They're starting to see now. We obviously have to prove it in the rig, in the regular season, okay? Obviously, preseason it does not mean nothing in the grand scheme of things. But for a team like Washington, coming from the bottom, literally, and I mean the bottom, this means a lot to us because we can finally get behind a quarterback that this whole fan base loves. Like again, I say it all the time. This is the first time that I genuinely felt that the whole fan base is behind this one guy. Yeah, you obviously going to have them little guys in the fan base that don't believe in Sam Howe because that's just how every fan base is. But for the majority of the fan base, we are behind Sam Howe. I cannot have said that about Kirk Cousins. I cannot have said that about RG3. I cannot have said that about Alex Smith. Dwayne Haskins, all these uh, quarterbacks that we had, I couldn't have said that about them because it was always a split in the fan base. You had this half that loved him and that wanted to see him succeed, but you had this half that didn't believe in him and wanted him to fail so we can draft another quarterback. You feel me? I'm telling y'all, man, even though it's preseason, we're starting to wake up, okay? We're starting to wake up the national media, and they're, they're going to be really surprised what Washington has in store this year if we're successful how we think we can be. You know, and what kills me, what kills me, and then we'll get out of here. What kills me is people still have Washington being average with Sam Howell quarterback, some people, right? And the thing that I have a problem with is, that's how I know you haven't been watching us. How do you think that we'll continue to be seven and 10, eight and eight and one, if we have a franchise quarterback, you know, we've been average the last three years with trash at quarterback. So you're telling me with the potential franchise quarterback and Sam how we're going to be the same? That just doesn't make sense. So there's still people out there that believe what I just said. But now, for the majority, there are people that actually are starting to see what we've been trying to get them to see for the past couple months slash years. So going back to last year, um, week 18, and Sam Howe. This guy can do it, and I fully believe in him. It's his time, and one full, the whole fan base is behind you, my boy. So with that being said, it's me and boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe, hail to the Washington Commanders. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Make sure you guys join me tonight at 8 p.m. as I will be going live on the channel with a couple of special guests. We got Jers from the corner. We got Pro Tech Sports. And we got Tim Sports Talk coming through for the channel tonight. So with that being said, it's me and boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all later on tonight. I'm out. Peace.